Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a minute. Uh, I was thinking about it today. I think it may be six months or more since my last video. Um, uh, I've missed it and I got inspired recently to make a few more. So here I am. Of course here with the uh, channel mascot Luna. Uh, she was happy to hop back on film and say hello to everyone. So here she is. She also loves Thanksgiving as you can imagine because um, of all the treats that make their way down to her from the table. Anyway, on that topic, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Hope all of you are having a wonderful day with you, your families um, and making a nice big meal and uh, spending time with your friends and family. Anyway, from, so here we are. So what are we doing today? So I've got what I think are three great recipes uh, for Thanksgiving dinner. One, I've got a pretty great recipe for the turkey itself. Um, some little tricks that I have to keep that turkey moist. Um, it makes it come out really well. Uh, Complements the gravy, which I'm going to talk about in a bit, with the way I cook it. But we're going to get into that. So we're going to dive into making what I think is one of the best turkeys. Two, stuffing. It's one of the trinities of the meal. You got to have the stuffing and the bird. Um, I've got some great ingredients, some really fresh herbs, some dried herbs that are going to go into that, which I think make it wonderful. It's going to be great. So we're going to share that. That's going to be video number two. Video number three. The real trinity of the Thanksgiving dinner, the gravy, uh, brings everything together. Um, I am a, uh, a gravy fan. I like it very much. And so um, I've got some tricks on that as well. Um, some special ways that you kind of can incorporate uh, the drippings from the turkey with some uh, different uh, fresh herbs, some uh, vegetables, get all that melded, uh, kind of get a roux in there. Anyway, I'm going to share that with you too. So that's going to be video number three. So like I said, I've got a series of videos uh, for Thanksgiving this year that I'm looking forward to sharing with you. So here we are. Um, thank you again, as always, for coming back to the channel and checking out the videos. Um, I very much appreciate it. Um, as I always say, if you like this type of content, uh, consider subscribing to the channel or give it a thumbs up. All right. I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. When I come back, I will show you how we're going to get that turkey ready. Be back in a bit. <laughs> Okay, and we are back. So, as you can see, we've got the star of the show today, our big uh, butterball uh, turkey. So, there's certain hints you can do. Uh, turkey is really prone to dry out, so you have to take extra steps in order to make sure that it doesn't dry out. So, there's several things we can do. I'm going to go over several of those right now. First of all, we're going to make a, um, a butter base for not only the outside of the turkey, but underneath that skin. I'm going to show you how to do that. Over here, we've got some butter that I've whipped up. We're going to get some uh, lemons in there like that there's one uh there's two or one whole lemon two halves so that'll be good we've also got the zest of a lemon right here that's going to go right into our butter as well as some minced garlic you want that garlic to basically kind of melt at the end so that's why we've got that finely minced right into the butter and then also we're going to complement it with some dried herbs. Uh, once again, we got our sage. We're going to go in with some of that. And then our thyme. Okay. So now when we come back over here to, to our turkey, we're going to want to do this. Um, mind you, now we're going to actually start touching the bird. So you have to be very cautious of what you're touching after we start touching this. We want to make sure your hands are clean. Don't touch anything after you've done all this prep. But back to it. So we're going to go up underneath here. You can see the skin there. We're just going to carefully... Go up underneath the turkey skin, being very careful not to cut the skin, but just go up underneath it, all right? And then we're also gonna do that same thing on the back, where we're gonna lift that up and just go underneath that skin. Once again, being careful. Oh, well, see if we can do it or not. We'll get, back, we'll get that back later, but just so you guys get the idea, we're going to go under the back and also the front. So what we're doing, basically going to do is mix this all together, our butter and our lemon and our garlic, until we have basically like a ball, like that, all right? Okay, we're going to want to go under there, like that, do a little push, push down like this, and then just push it throughout the bird. Wait, is this really a butterball turkey, or do you call it a butterball turkey because you're putting balls of butter in it? That's a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> we can call it both. Uh, anyway, so we're going to get that uh, butter intermixed there. Like I said, in not only the 
uh, front, but also the back as well. Using that technique of just pushing it down. Um, also, I should mention, we're also gonna rub some of this butter, but you gotta mix that with some olive oil at this point, or else that butter is gonna burn. I'm not gonna touch the olive oil right now because my hands are a little dirty, but we are gonna eventually do that. We're gonna mix that, the remaining butter with that olive oil, get that covered on the turkey, which is gonna make for a nice golden brown. So I've got one more trick, but this has gotta sit in the oven for a bit, 425 for 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna show you what that next step is when we come back, back in a bit. Okay, and we are back. So we've been in the oven for about 20 minutes at uh, 425. As you can see, hey, cameraman. Oh, sorry. Camera lady. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some nice brown on there. We've got some color. Um, some things I didn't mention that I want to mention now, you can see we got the thermometer and the stuffing, that's good to go. We've also got a thermometer in our, the biggest part of the thigh, which is over here. Sweetheart, there you go, other side, there we go. Um, which is going to uh, keep track of that internal temperature of that turkey, which is important. The bottom of this turkey, you can see we've got some onions down in there, as well as some chicken broth. As the drippings start to fall, as the bird is cooking, that's going to create the wonderful base for our gravy. So that's kind of what that's for. Now, what's that secret that I was mentioning earlier? I'll tell you what that is. We've already got this nice brown, right? We wanna maintain that through the long six hour cook. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna layer bacon along the top of the breast all the way down. That's gonna do two things. One, that's gonna protect our breast from getting overcooked while we are uh, roasting the chicken. Number two, as that bacon cooks, it's gonna drip down into those drippings and mix with the turkey drippings. And that's also gonna be phenomenal for our gravy. So this is a secret little tri trick that I learned recently. And it really and we are back. Well, we had some technical glitches there, uh, but I'm not sure where we, where we ended up. But basically what we're doing is we got that bacon over the top of the uh, turkey breast and we're gonna get that um, roasting. <laughs> I'm getting some, some frowny faces because uh, my cameraman was doing the best job she could. Um, in any event, uh, we are ready to go. This is gonna be great. It's gonna make for a great gravy base. It's gonna uh, roast really well. So we're gonna pop this back in the oven at 325. It's gonna take about five, five and a half hours or so. Um, and then when I bring you guys back, I'll show you what we ended up with. Be back in a bit. All right, as you guys can see, we have a beautiful golden brown uh, turkey right here. Uh, you, can, you can see back there, the cranberries are trying to sneak in a, uh, a cameo. Uh, we have some homemade cranberries back there as well for our meal tonight, but I uh, wanted to show you guys this turkey. Turned out perfectly. Uh, you can tell that the, the bacon helped keep the breast nice and golden brown. Um, nice stuffing is nice and golden brown. Basically everything is golden brown. <laughs> so normally at this point in the video, I would do the big bite. However, this is maybe the most important thing. If there's one thing you could take away from this video, it's this, is that this turkey needs to rest. Came out of the oven, it needs to rest at least an hour. Sometimes people rest them up to two hours because it doesn't need to be piping hot because we're going to have really hot gravy, right? So that resting is so crucial because it allows all the moistures to come back into the meat. It gives you that nice, really juicy turkey that um, everybody uh, is aiming for when they cook this kind of thing. So I'm going to leave you with this, guys. I hope that uh, everybody's had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, as I always mention, if you like these type of videos, uh, please subscribe and hit that like button, and uh, we will catch you in the next one.